Hey guys, Brother G, praise Leah Radio Show. So the blessing of Abraham upon you. Listen, I was recently in a prayer circle. We were praying for a particular young lady and it came up to pray for her for marriage. And one of the ladies there started to pray for her and she started to pray, Lord, I pray that he have his own house. I pray that he have his own car. I pray that he have his own money. I pray that he have his own job. I pray that he will follow her in ministry. And I sat there and I was like, wow. It let me see inside of the church how we have intersected our doctrine with the world. According to the Bible, a man should work. According to the Bible, a man should take care of his family. According to the Bible, when the two become one, they mix everything. They mix their money. They mix their lives. Everything becomes one. And not only that, if you are a ministry young lady, the first thing you should do is say, Lord, if you want me to be married, how is my ministry going to intersect with this marriage? And then you would say, my future husband, let me talk to you and let's see how we're going to work this thing out for us to be married. But the biggest thing that came to me is like, why would you think the Lord is going to send you someone who didn't have his own money, who didn't have his own job, who don't have his own car, who don't have his own house, who don't take care of himself? God is not going to send you a baby. No, he may not be a millionaire. These are kingdom things. He has to be in the word of God. He has to be gainfully employed. He has to have respect. He has to have some type of self-control. If you go into a marriage thinking selfishly, you're going to have a selfish marriage. Get out of the world system. Detox yourself. All right? Much love. Brother D. Prisley Radio Show. Love you.